Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Megan. So today's look is on this super like dramatic modeling makeup, dance makeup, it's just audition makeup. So I'm doing this makeup tutorial because one of you guys on Twitter requested it. You guys messaged me and said you would love me to do an audition makeup tutorial. So here it is right here. And you guys sent me a picture on what you wanted me to kind of base the look around. So this is the image that I based the look around here today. If you guys do like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below to my channel. I would love to see you in my next tutorial. This tutorial is a very chit chatty tutorial, so I just get down real, just chit chatting with you guys, basically on my life updates, what I was, what I've been doing lately, things like that. So if you guys are interested in how I got this mega look right here, then please stay watching. Hey guys, so I'm going to start off with my skin today, I think, just because, I don't know, should I start off with the eyes, should I start off with the skin, start off with the skin, okay, so I'm going to start off with my skin today, and I'm going to go in with a couple primers, I think, just to kind of even out the skin tone and moisturize it, because I do have these breakouts, they can get quite can they can get quite dry and flaky so I want to make sure that my skin is nice and moisturized so when I stick my foundation on top it sits really nicely and smoothly and it doesn't cling to any dry patches or flaky skin or anything like that <laughs> so I'm first of all going to go in with my coconut skin smoothie priming moisturizer it's really good to hydrate the skin it smells so good because it has coconut in it which is also good for your skin you guys can apply this with a brush with your hands whatever you feel more comfortable with I'm just going in with clean hands it's applying this to the more dry areas of my skin once I've let that soak in for a minute or two, I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Self-Adjusting Complexion Primer. This is so good to even out your skin tone. If you have a lot of redness or rosea in your skin, this is so good because it just evens out that redness and that texture. And if you have breakouts like me, I find it really good because it dulls down the colour of my breakouts. So they're not so obvious when they peek through. If they, if they do peek through my foundation, they're a lot more duller in tone. And you can just see, like, it's just literally, like, made my skin look airbrushed. Like, a lot lighter, a lot smoother, a lot more, like, evenly toned, which is just what I want. For foundation, I'm going to go in with my Revlon Color State Foundation in the combination Oily One. You guys, if you're more normal to dry skin, then you grab the normal to dry skin combination. But I do get oily throughout the day, so I do re prefer using something that's not so, like, luminous it's more mattifying this one is really good i find to stay on the skin throughout the day and not move especially when we do get hot and sweaty or oily or anything like that so what i like to do before i blend in my foundation is i spritz my sponge with some finishing spray and this is just going to help lock the product onto my face when I'm applying it on, so it's not only just going to like sit on my face, it's going to really lock it in and it won't move. This is just like a trick I like to do to help lock in my foundation. And I also spritz my sponge when I do my concealer as well. So what I like to do with my foundation is I place it like a thin layer of it all over my face. And then in the more like textured or broken out areas where I need a bit more coverage, I'll add a little bit more. Just a little bit. Because the last thing you want is to look like you know cake faced you want to look your best so you don't want to have a thick layer all over your face if you don't need it so you guys last week I spent about 10 days or so in America so in LA because I went to this whoop, because I went to this um, young entrepreneurial like leadership course just because I'm really into the whole personal development field and I always think we can always improve ourselves and you know learn and grow and they had all these really incredible personal development speakers like you learned so much from them especially from their stories like they were faced with Im like immense challenges in their lives like there was a quadriplegic who you know had like been squashed by a bale of hay and he had an incredible story about like giving like without being asked just to give and to help because we are human beings and we're like we're made, made to serve others to help others as much as we can and I truly believe that 
to serve other people and to help really is the, the most fulfilling thing we can do and to not to be asked but just to do it out of like like kindness to really like take the time to get to know one another and to be interested in others and not interesting you don't want to be the one that's chatting 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 taking up the whole time and always trying to talk about yourself you want to learn about others get curious about other people and learn their story and what their challenges and learn from them like we can always learn from one another through the challenges that we've all individually been faced with and to be interested in other people is an incredible incredible skill to have because that's how you get to know people and really build up those strong bonding relationships be curious about the other person and ask them questions about what they do what they're passionate about really get on a deep level and not just skim the surface you know having that small talk all the time you want to try and build really deep connections with other people it's all about connections and like networking and really getting to know one another and helping serve the community so I really got a lot from the, from the experience and I think I might do a video on it on my other channel on my more personal development channel which is linked always in the description bar if you'd like to check it out guys that self promo <laughs> but really I think I'll, I'll do a video on it but it was absolutely incredible experience I made such incredible friends oh it was so awesome I've come, I've come off it like with such a high I wish I could like you know bring all of you guys with me like it's incredible I wish you could all feel this experience and like this high this absolutely like you know when you just feel so clear on what you want to achieve on your goals on your values and you just know you have a, a clear direction and I'm also really implementing meditation and positive affirmations into my life to really condition like my brain to think you know positively and all the positive what ifs instead of saying what if this happens what if this happens what if this happens all these negative things really implementing positive affirmations because if we condition our brain to think positively and to look for these opportunities to get on this like wavelength this positive wavelength wavelength and really attract that energy towards us we'll be attracting all these different opportunities to us as well like the power of the brain is incredible absolutely incredible and we're like starting to learn a lot about it especially in this century Anyways, I'll stop doing my foundation. Let's move on to the next step, shall we? So once your foundation is on, like so, let's move on and do concealer to conceal the feels. So I'm going to go in with my Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer from BH Cosmetics, and it's in the shade 106. And I'm going to place this under my eyes, on the center of my face, to highlight as well as conceal any bags or anything like that. And I'll also conceal it over any like breakouts or things like that this is a more dry concealer so if you guys have a more hydrating concealer then I would recommend using that a more like luminous one like the Becca one the Becca luminous concealer is a lot better it's more hydrating and it'll conceal up your breakouts without making them look crusty or anything like that you know I don't have any luminous concealers with me at the moment but I will be using this Hotel Pro concealer just to cover up any you know breakouts or anything like that Man, that took me ages to say. I should have just like summed it up really quickly, you know what I mean? Basically, all I'm doing is concealing any breakouts and highlighting my center of my face and I'm also concealing any eye bags. So I want to redo my room, like really like um, clean it up. It was all just like messy and cluttered and if you have a really cluttered room, like if you're waking up in a really cluttered room, you're not getting, you're not going to be as productive because it just, it clutters up your mind. A cluttered environment means a cluttered mind. So I'm going to try and like really clear it out. All the stuff's like cleared off behind me. I want to just like really redo my room and put like f as few things in it like as possible. Like it doesn't need to be really cluttered with lots of possessions. Try and be more minimalistic. I really believe in the more minimalistic lifestyle. Oh, by the way guys, with the breakout areas, I like to just blend the concealer around it in. Because if you just blend over the top with a beauty sponge, it's going to take the coverage away. So I just blend the outside with a sparse little brush like this. Um, so as I was saying, like I really believe in the minimalistic lifestyle, like having as the like not cluttering our lives with lots of like objects and materialistic things. Just because I don't believe that's the way to reach happiness. I really believe that you know relationships and connections and like that's the main meaning like I find in life. And like really fulfilling our purpose. Anyways, that's going off on another tangent. So I want to redo my room and like get rid of all the things that I don't need. Get rid of all that clutter so that I can be more productive during the day. 
because the clearer the mind, the more productive we can be. And I want to hang up lots of like pictures with like lots of um, photos and stuff in it, like a lot of picture frames and things like that of family and friends. Like that's the things I really value. So I'm gonna play. I'm gonna put like put that up. And yeah, just make it as like more of a tranquil space. In an audition or anything that you want your makeup to last really well, I really believe in cream contouring. So before we set everything in place, I'm going to cream contour. So I'm going in with my Australis Contouring and Highlight Kit in the Cool Tone Cream. And I'm going to be applying that middle cream contour shade on the bottom row, just along like where my cheekbones are, to really carve them out. And always make sure to blend upwards. So that you're not, you know, pushing it down, making your cheeks look really sunken in. You want it to be nice and lifted, so it always blends up. You just see that natural contour it gives you, like it's so soft, and I just feel like it really just it emphasizes those cheekbones. Sorry, I got a bit of an itch. And what I like to do is I go in with the yellow shade from the cream contour kit and place that right underneath that contour, just to clean it up and really sharpen it so it looks really defined. This part is optional, guys. Now for powder. So I'm going to go in first with my Laura Mercier and just bake that underneath my eyes. Just because I feel like that's what really keeps that concealer on there and it won't budge at all until I remove my makeup. And when I bake, I actually like to push the product into my skin so there's no excess. But with the rest of my face, I'm going to go and place this Eclipse Blur Powder just over the oily areas that I feel like will, you know, move or like budge throughout the day. So I've done the base of my face. I'm going to move on to my brows really quickly. You guys can do your brows however you please. I know everyone has their own different brow routine. The products I'm going to use to fill in my brows is my Master Brow Pro Palette from Maybelline in the shade Dark Brown. And I'm just going to stick those hairs down in place with my Rimmel Brow This Way Brow Sculpting Gel in the shade Dark Brown as well. Oh girl, today is a good brown day. Oh yeah. Okay, so once you guys have filled in your brows how you would like, let's move on to the eyes. So let's zoom you in nice and quick. So with the eyes today, I'm probably going to do like, probably like more orangey brownie colours. You guys can do whatever colours you want to do. But I'm just feeling a bit of that kind of colour sequence today. I don't know, we might change it up during the thing, I don't know. But first of all, I'm going to start off with this more soft brown shade from my Morphe 350 palette. And on a 228 Luxe crease brush, I'm just gonna whack this baby in and out in the crease, making sure to focus it, like blending it up towards the brow. I don't want it to, I don't want to bring it onto the lid. I just want to focus it, like blending up towards my brow bone. And I'm extending it out towards the tail of the brow, applying more pressure where the crease is and then slowly buffing it up towards the brow bone like very softly using the very side of the bristles so there's not much product being applied like so so I brought it from inner corner all the way to outer corner so I'm thinking I actually want to keep it quite simple like it doesn't have to be anything too extravagant so I might actually apply some of this like corally shade in the crease a little bit just to kind of get a bit of color to it so I might divert away from orange is what I was originally thinking and I might actually go in with this like corally pink shade again from my Morphe 350 palette and taking it on a definer brush I'm just going to place this right along the crease area and all I'm doing is just kind of like following the edge of that brown through my crease area if you guys want to make your crease larger or smaller by bringing it up or down then feel free to do that then I'm going to grab this Zoeva pencil brush I think it's the 230 Lux pencil brush and I'm just going to place a little bit of that Coralie shade on the brush the very tip of the brush just wiggle that over that line that we've created to buff it out and I'm using the edge bristles to buff it up towards the brow bone Make sure you guys are always blending upwards just to keep the product focused up in this area and not on the lid. If you guys have brought it down to the lid area like I have here, don't worry about it, we'll just clean it up afterwards. 
I like to stretch up my eyelids, so I stretch my eyebrows up as I go so that it's a nice flat canvas. And it's easier to blend than it would be if I like had my eyes closed like this and I tried to blend it out. It would just transfer onto the lid area. Then I take that fluffy brush from the beginning and just buff out the edges with whatever's on the brush. If you guys do happen to blend it up a bit too far to the brow bone, then don't worry about it. Just grab a bit of translucent powder on an angle brush and just place that on the brow bone area and kind of like brush it down to soften that colour up and blend it out. Next, I'm going to grab some concealer on an eye concealer brush and I'm just going to start carving out the lid area. And I create a little wing on the end just as a guideline for where I place my eyeliner down after. Once I've carved out my crease, I'm going to set that in place with just a matte cream coloured eyeshadow. So once I've carved it out and set it in place with that matte white eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with my wing liner. And I'm firstly going in with my Hailey Baldwin for Modico Liquid Eyeliner. And just going to draw, draw a nice like sharp wing to really complement this eye look. And then over top I'll go in with my NYX Glam Aqualux Liner to really richen up that colour. So once you've done your winged liner, it's nice and crisp and sharp. We're going to move on for the fun bit, which is the glitter. So I've just got this Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art. It's the Lid Line Lash Glitter. I'm just going to use the glitter liner side. This is in the shade 100 Topaz Twinkle. It's such a cute name. And I'm just going to do a little like glitter line just along that cut crease area. To give it a bit of something extra, just because it is a bit of fun. I do love that look. It's like that little photo I showed you at the beginning. And I just built it up with a couple of layers to get the desired opaqueness. But this is kind of like what you should have afterwards. If you guys want to, you could just do the, like the glitter on the inner corner part of the eye, which would look really pretty as well. But I wanted to be a little bit extra. So next I'm going to place on some mascara and lashes. And the lashes I'm going in with today are the Iconic Lashes from House of Lashes. Okay, next I'm going to place in this Master Liner Maybelline New York Black Eye Coal in my tight line and waterline to really deepen it up and help the false lashes blend in with my natural lash line as well. Next I'm taking a petite crease brush and that brown shade that we used at the very beginning and I'm placing that right underneath the lash line, focusing most of it on the outer corner and then blending whatever's left towards the inner corner. Then I'm just taking that fluffy brush from the beginning and just buffing out the edges. Next I'm taking that pencil brush and that corally shade from the 350 palette and buffing that really tightly against my lash line. And then just place on some bottom lash mascara. To finish off the eyes I'm going to go in with my Mary Luminizer by The Balm and place that on my inner corner and brow bone for a bit of a highlight. And that is the eyes completed. Yes! To warm up the skin, I'm going in with my NYX Contour and Highlight Kit and grabbing the tan shade from the kit and just placing this in all the places that I want to bronze up the face. So I'm placing it on my cheekbones, temples, nose, chin, a bit on the neck as well to make sure it's like all rounder. Not just on the face, but it's on the body as well. Next I'm going in with the shade Sculpt and contouring with a fan brush to really carve out those cheekbones. I always like to bring it up the side of my temple as well to really give that natural soft contour, natural contour. To highlight the skin I'm going to mix Star Glow and Moon Gleam from my Violet Voss Highlighting Trio and place it on the high points of the face. If you do have breakouts on your chin then don't, or even on the high points of your face, anywhere that you've got breakouts you don't want to highlight because that's just going to emphasise that those breakouts and those imperfections in the texture. So you skip, feel free to skip this step if you do have quite textured like acne prone skin and then just because this is a very like extra kind of look I'm going to go in with Mary Lou by the balm and place this right on top of any place I highlighted to give it a bit of extra pop you know what I mean for some color on the cheeks and to tie in with the eye look I'm going in with the Coralie shade in this peachy shade from my 9N Morphe blush palette and placing this right on the contours of my face and to set all this place I'm going in with my Urban Decay or Nighter setting spray this stuff 
will not move literally once it's set your makeup in place you will not budge it will just stay all day so i really love this setting spray especially for times like i said like if you're sweating if you're nervous if you want to look really good for a long period of time this stuff is your best friend for lips i'm going in with pale plethora and just whacking this right on top to finish off the makeup look and this here is the finished makeup look guys I hope you guys enjoyed today's makeup look. You got a few tips and tricks from it. If you guys do recreate this look, then please make sure to tag me in any social medias. I'll make sure they're linked all down below. Otherwise, guys, I hope you have an amazing day. Good luck with your modeling, dancing, audition, whatever it may be. And I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Oh, before I forget, make sure you guys like and subscribe down below if you did enjoy this tutorial. And I'd love to see you guys in my next tutorial. Otherwise, have an awesome day, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.